I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales on board Lucinda, this 2021 Axopar 37 Cross Cabin. I'm here in the air conditioned pilot house down here in Naples, Florida. Lucinda is very well equipped with the Mercury V8 300s with JPO joystick docking. She's got the Maybrew battery powered air conditioning both up here in the pilot house and down below in the cabin. The boat's been very well maintained with a full time yacht management program. She shows very well and I'd like to take you on a walkthrough tour of the boat. So let's go take a look. All right, so here we are on the dock in beautiful Naples, Florida, taking a look at Lucinda. This is a beautiful 2021 37 cross cabin. We've got the wet bar with the three folding seats here in the aft cockpit. She's equipped with the twin Mercury V8 300s with the JPO Mercury joystick docking with Skyhook and Autopilot and all the fancy features. I love the color combo with the Brabus powder coated black rails and the tan seats. It looks really, really slick. So here on the wet bar, opening hatch right in the middle, we have our fridge, deep sailboat style. And then just outboard of that is the sink. And underneath these, we've got two great storage lockers either side. And then we have the deck storage here, which is pretty deep. It's about a foot deep and it goes all the way forward here, um, just forward of the wet bar. So if you're looking to store fishing poles, anything like that, um, you've got plenty of room back there. We've got the fishing targa arch with the two flush mount uh, rod holders here, port and starboard side. These are our fender lockers. On each side, this is our whale freshwater shower. As with all the axopars, these beautiful big side walk around decks. I'm gonna go forward before we go into the cabin here, show you the full exterior. So up here on the bow, we've got the stainless steel anchor with chain and the windlass. That's an ultra anchor with the swivel there. Got a couple fenders up here. Short power hookup, the fresh water. Our windlass controls are right here. We also have a remote for them. And then the breaker for the windlass is right there. All these seats, these cushions up here have covers. We do have a nice storage locker right here. And up top on the roof rocks, we've got the Thule cargo carrier, which comes with the boat. Coming in here to the cabin. Nicely equipped boat here. This owner has done the Maybrew air conditioning. You can see I've got it blast in here. You can see the uh, uh, cold air there on the window. And you'll notice our shore power hookup is up on the bow. There's I don't have the boat hooked up. So we're running the air conditioning uh, off the battery. I've been running it for probably about 45 minutes right now. Um, and you can see we've got this Victron uh, battery meter. I'm at 12.9 volts there. Um, this unit controls the air conditioning here in the pilot house. And then there's another uh, unit down below here. So um, give you a quick look at the layout there. So can open this seat. I've got a air handler there and one on the other side and storage in the middle there and then I've got storage over here on this side table folds over boat is in great condition so up here at the helm we've got the searchlight control this is our bow thruster control also controls the windlass up and down got my bow thruster the trim tabs. I love the trim tab joystick on the Axopars. This is our Mercury JPO joystick. You can see we've got Skyhook, Autopilot, or position hold, uh, uh, heading hold, and then the uh, route follow there. Uh, Simrad VHF radio. This boat does have the underwater lights as well. They're bicolor, uh, blue and white. Um, and the Simrad you can see no bezels there. The Simrad information display, electric opening sunroof, and then our rock waterproof charger. 
of course the mercury stuff and we've got a EPIRB there. As you can tell she's in great condition. The sonar does have a full yacht maintenance program, weekly washdowns. Really does a nice job of taking care of the boat. And down below we've got the open arrangement. So sink off here to port and plenty of seating. Berth up forward. And this is our air conditioning control. It is freezing cold down here. It feels cold compared to the heat outside. I guess it's only 75, but it feels colder than that. Probably 85, 90 degrees out today. Pretty good for only having this on for 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, underneath my center here, there's the toilet. Electric flush toilet and our fuse panel up ahead. And right here we've got some charging outlets, 12 volt, the hookup for the fusion, our lights, and the, uh, the other fusion control. We've got plenty of those throughout. A little storage down below the sink here. As you can see, Lucinda is in excellent condition. If you have any questions about this Axopar 37 Cross Cabin, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Thanks for watching.